All right, boys. So lately I've been struggling a lot with loneliness and how to deal with it. Just like any other guy that's on self-improvement, basically, because I've mentioned this in multiple of my videos as well. When you're doing self-improvement, it's very likely that you will end up being lonely because you are not relatable to anyone and other people can't relate to you as well. And normally when I just feel bad about being lonely, I just brush it off, basically. I just get on with my work and the stuff that I have to do during the day and then just eventually it will be fine again. But in the last couple of days, this has just been bothering me a lot, honestly. And I've journaled about it and I've thought about it for a while and it just keeps haunting me basically. So that's why I decided to just grab the camera and start venting on camera. I was like, well, maybe that's gonna help me. I've always wanted to try venting on camera before. So I was like, this is the perfect opportunity for me. So I was just thinking about how did I end up in this place of just having of just not really having any friends any real friends basically because i am speaking to some people on discord online which are kind of friends kind of people i get along with but not like friends friends you know so i was like how did i end up in this place in the first place because when i was younger i have had multiple opportunities to actually go in friend groups and just be way more social. But I just remember that when I was younger, I always had these opportunities, but I never really went for them. Or at least most of the times I didn't do it because I've had these moments where I would get along with someone very well. And then it was always like we would go get along very well when it would be the both of us alone, right? But then once like the popular kids got into the picture, then the other guy would just always go to them instead of go to me because I was always like this shy and introverted and a kind of that weird guy in school. So, and there were some people who would get along with me, but then once the popular kids came in, they would just go to them instead because back in school, basically everybody wants to be among the popular kids because then you have the most status, the most friends, and it's, you have the best time in school. Right. And I have always been an exception to that. I have never once in my life wanted to be part of the popular group in school. And that's exactly the reason why it didn't work out with almost all of the people I have met in my life, which I did get along with. Because there would always be this point where they would have to make a decision between staying with me or going to the popular kids. Because I never wanted to change myself to get along with these kids. And that's the difference here. Most of the people want to go to the popular kids, but I just didn't want that. And that's because I didn't want to change my identity or just leave my identity behind to be part of that group. I was so insecure and I was so shy, but something I always valued was my own identity. And that has been like that for my whole life. And most other people, they do change their identity to be part of the popular kids in school. And that's just sad, honestly, because I've been thinking about this, like, why do we not fit in like the guys who are on self-improvement and stuff? And I've come to think of this and started to realize that Probably most people who are even in friend groups, they don't fit in either because they might be part of that group, but they are not being themselves. 
Because if they were true to themselves, they wouldn't fit in in that group either. And then it just hit me. It's like that's maybe the biggest reason why I ended up in this place of just being all by myself and just leaving all those people behind that I did get along with because I simply didn't want to change and change my identity and they did. So they did and they got into drinking and partying and living this degenerate lifestyle. And I always stay true to myself or at least most of the times I did because there were instances where peer pressure got the better of me as well. I remember when I was about 15 years old, I was in a football team back then and I remember that we decided to form a friend group of that football team, which was kind of nice. So we had this friend group of about 10 to 15 people basically and we would just hang out every weekend and it was a lot of fun but then eventually when we turned like 16 years old most of the group would start to go out and party and drink and do all of that stuff and i was always like but i don't really want that i was not interested in that i was shy insecure and i didn't want to go to the club because i was very scared to go there but i was just also simply not interested in all that stuff i didn't want to drink and i didn't want to do all of that but there were moments where i was pressured to get into that stuff and eventually there were moments where i did drink or i did go out and i kind of went into this other world of just having this party lifestyle and basically doing all sorts of that stuff. But every time when I did that, I just didn't feel good. I wasn't having fun. I wasn't enjoying myself. And always when I went to like a party, I just wouldn't go there for like a month after that because I was just so I was just so sad that I didn't like it and I just didn't want to go there anymore. And then it just hit me, like, what do I want? Because I kind of wanted to be part of a group and just having people around me and just have fun. But at the same time, if I want that, I have to change myself and I have to do things that I do not want to do at all. And that is just something that kept on happening my whole life, basically. I would get along with some people. Then eventually, because I was like the weird guy that didn't want to drink and didn't want to party, the people who would get along with me, they would eventually just ditch me. Because they wanted to be part of the popular kids and they didn't want to hang out with me. So that's just the sad reality that we live in right now. You kind of have three different groups where the first group is like the popular kids who live the very like party and degenerate lifestyle and just they're most mostly students, especially the people my age and they just drink a lot and consume a lot and basically do all of that. And then there's this other group who are like the nerds and the, the video game players and just these guys that are locked in their room and they never fit in with the popular kids. So they decided to just play video games all day and do all kinds of that stuff. And then there's also a third group that's kind of like in between there, which are like the normal kids who just live a healthy lifestyle and who are social as well and just do fun stuff together but don't really do like any extreme degenerate party stuff and that last group that's the group that i always wanted to be part of but unfortunately that's just the smallest group 
I think about 90%, maybe even more, is part of either like the nerds or the party kids. Especially around my age, this is the case. So I'm 22 right now and I think most people watching this video who are between like ages 18 and 25, they probably can relate to this. And I was just thinking about this like, okay, but what can I do about this? How can I meet those people who are in like that small middle group? It's like, okay, I can just grow my YouTube and just meet people through there, or I might go out more and try to look for these people. And I've made multiple videos on this as well, where I tell you to go more to events and just workshops and classes and stuff. So I was thinking about doing that more as well just start to follow my own advice for once. And, but it's still hard, you know, because I have been trying to do that stuff, but that group of people, it's just so small. It's always, most people I meet, they are either in one of the two extreme groups I mentioned. So it's just very tough and hard and I've been thinking like, maybe I just have to wait until I get older and more of these like extreme students who party all the time start to get a little bit more relaxed, you know, live a more healthy lifestyle. And maybe then I can just become friends with them. Or maybe the nerds start to get like more out of their shell and then I can start to become friends with them as well. So more people when we age start to be part of that middle group. That's just something I'm hoping for. I'm not sure if that's what's gonna happen, but it's a struggle. It's a very big struggle. I feel like if you're on self-improvement, you can probably relate to this. And that's just the sad reality that we live in right now. So this is uh, a little bit of a different video, of course, uh, than what you're used to seeing from me. I might do more of this in the future because I do like uh, these types of videos where I'm just unfiltered and where I just say what I want to say. And yeah, who knows? I might make more of these. So the next one at least is gonna be a more like positive and happy video, so. If you only watch my channel for these ones, don't worry. I'm gonna post uh, a new video, a normal video this weekend. So I'm gonna leave it at that. If you can relate to this, uh, let me know in the comments. Maybe uh, we can start our own little community together. And I have been thinking about like starting my own community uh, as well, actually. Because I've seen a lot of YouTubers just start their own Discord and stuff, and that never really works out, in my opinion, because then you have a sense of community, but you still don't know these people in real life. You just chat with them and you might get along with them, but it's still they're still not really friends of yours. You're still like lonely. It doesn't fill that void, honestly. So I was just thinking about starting a community and then just focus very hard on organizing real life meetups. So I might in the future, when my audience gets bigger, start a Discord server and then just start organizing real life meetups, like maybe once a week or once every two weeks and then just pick a location, pick a different location every once in a while and basically do that. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, See you guys in the next one. Take care.